Okay. All right. Let's get started, shall we? Today's going to be a little bit different. So, uh, bear with me a second here. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my lovely view of the completed suspension bridge that we finished off camera. You all saw us do uh, most of the uh, most of the cabling, but uh, we went ahead and did that middle part there. And as you can see, it is looking absolutely glorious. I think uh, Ordiath did a great job on, you know, helping us with this. Let me go ahead and unmute him real quick. So, hey, is a, this is a, it's a little, little different, a little bit different. Great job on. Forgot to mute you. <laughs> You're good. There today's, we go. a little today's a little bit different. Uh, we're not really doing anything on the game today so much as we are going to be doing some behind the scenes stuff. That's right. That's right. So, uh, bear with me a second here because I have to. I have to do something here on the Twitch channel that I absolutely forgot to do before stream. Uh, it looks like, okay, it looks like I'm already up, so that's cool. Alright, anyway, so, today, we're going to be doing some behind the scenes work, and what that means is we're going to be opening up our copy of World Painter, which I just updated, um, and uh, yeah, as you, if you've been tuning into the streams over the course of the last week, couple weeks, we have been talking about migrating the server to 1.17 and uh, also making a new map. That's right. Redoing the landscape and then making our builds from this map and putting them in the new one, including the entire city, the entirety of Skylantis, Ordeath Land, everything. We're going to move it to the new map so that everybody has more room to build, more things that they can explore, and uh, we'll have a landscape that is just truly ours, and then we can make, you know, make a mythos around, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to World Painter here, so we can get started. So, uh, yeah. oh yeah, I was researching the, the Mojang thing here a little while ago. That's why that popped up. So, that's another thing we're going to be discussing today, is uh, how Mojang... Mojang. Mojang. Mojang, Mojang. I don't, I don't speak it's Swedish. Swedish, remember? I don't speak Swedish. Anyway, I'm going to switch over to World Painter here. So, as you can see, I've been designing the new map already, and uh, there's a new there's a tool that's very useful for doing this, and that is the background image. Uh, I'm about to show that to you guys once that loads up here because it's huge, it's absolutely massive, and I've been using it to kind of place where the mountains and things go. And I've already been digging out some of the terrain a little bit here to kind of plan out where things are going to go. There we go. As you can see, I've even overlaid the map of the old city where it will be placed on the new one. Looks good to me. I think that looks really awesome. Um, I may end up moving Gardena down here, though. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Unfortunately, this is an annoying thing that World Painter does, is it auto-saves constantly. I mean, I guess it's handy, you don't lose your work, but it takes forever when it does it. I'm on now. Ugh. But yeah, so Mojang is migrating their accounts over to Microsoft. Um, it doesn't really affect me so much, because I already have a Microsoft account. So all I got to do is just switch it over when my time comes and, you know, link them together. They both have my screen name, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, 
So, anyway, this is going to be the new map. Uh, as you can see, I've taken a few liberties on it. Not everything is precisely the way it was planned on the old one, but I kind of got everything sort of where I was planning on putting it. So, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to build up these mountains over here using the mountain tools, and it looks like I can expand this upwards a little bit too. So those of you who aren't familiar with World Painter, it's actually what we use to design the old Echelon map as well. But I kind of just, I kind of just rushed through it, you know, because I wanted to get something up. And the longest time I've been wanting to design a map that, uh, you know, is, is completely unique, you know, and has a lore behind it. And um, I wanted to give the other players, like, free reign to do what they wanted and you know when we started this out everybody was basically on survival mode and since then pretty much everybody on the server is now in creative mode and I'm like well there's really no point in doing the generated terrain if we're going to be in creative mode so we put our heads together and we were talking about uh, getting on a better server and actually having a hub. So, a lot of the other like servers that we see out there, they have like a hub that you log into. And we were talking about making the main, this main map, uh, an adventure map, with the exception of the, uh, the current players that are on there and have builds. So they basically be VIPs. And then we'll have a separate survival map that people can log into, and basically it'll be a free play map. And people can do whatever they want, whatever they want on it. So that's one of the things that we've been talking about and discussing. And, uh, and one of the things I thought was thinking about that we may want to do is to make things easier to copy over the schematics. Yeah, you may want to try updating the current world to um, to uh, what you call it, 1.17. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're and gonna... then uh, see if you can't symlink the um, schematics folder. We might be able to do that. that one and the new world edited one. Yeah, we might be able to do that. I mean, I can just link. I can just uh, dump the schematic folder over. Right, but the idea was basically like, say we needed to grab something, mm -hmm. you know, that we didn't already have. Oh, gotcha. Um, you know, that if you save the schematic on the, the previous world, that it would just be on the new world because it's the same schematics folder. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. I don't know if, I'm not sure if we can do that on these servers because I'm actually renting the server. So... Yeah, yeah just, it, I think it's a matter of if you if you have shell access when you switch over to the new one. I might. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go with Apex this time because I don't know. I'm just I'm not happy with the current server host. I've, I've never really been happy with them. And anytime I have a technical problem, they always seem to drag their feet. I can never get it fixed. You know. Like one out of one out of ten, do not recommend. You know. <laughs> what I'm yeah, doing... I know somebody else that tried them that had similar performance problems. Also. Yeah, I mean, we we usually have less than ten players on this server at any given time. You no, know, usually there's only four. It's like, and it still drags. It's like it shouldn't be having those kind of performance issue with only four players on the server. It's ridiculous. So I'm yeah. like. Yeah, we need to move this. It, it doesn't help that I make uh, things that create lag. <laughs> yeah, that might be a problem on the survival map. <laughs> but what I'm doing now is I'm building up some mountains. Bridges. Oh, and uh, what we're going to do here, I'm building the mountains around the desert. There's going to be a big desert in the middle here. And I'm just kind of building up the mountains around it. 
uh, switch into 3D view here. I'm not entirely happy with the way those look, so I'm just gonna undo those. But I do, I do kind of like how the foothills turned out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for like the foothills a little bit. To add some depth. That's kind of that's the trick about like when you want to make mountains, uh, world edit is you want to make them look as natural as possible. So, real mountains have like foothills and like low areas in front of them, and then they kind of just rise up. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to build up some foothilly areas. Then I'm gonna raise everything up on top of that. Now I gotta I kinda wanna do that here too. I kinda wanna build up some areas right around. I feel like this whole area would benefit some from that. I'm gonna go ahead and build that up a little bit. There we go. See how that looks in the three. Oh yeah, that looks nice. We got these hills here. Now I'm gonna build up the mountains. And I'm trying to keep them under 170, around like 160 something, 170, but I'm trying to keep them at. Because I don't want these to be the tallest mountains in the world. Um, and also, like, when we move to 1.17, I want to, uh, when, when, when 1.18 rolls out, I want to take advantage of that new height limit. And I want to make a truly gargantuan, like, like, strato volcano. Were they actually going to go taller? Because I thought they were just going, uh, Oh, they're going lower. taller, too. Oh, nice. They're going to raise the height limit, I think, to like 1,000 blocks or something like that. So I'm going to build some truly gargantuan mountains that, you know, I mean, once World Painter updates, I'm not, I don't think World Painter actually uh, has been updated to 1.17. So the, the beauty of it, though, is we can, the way we're designing this uh, creative map is we're not doing it as uh, the auto-generated. We're just gonna have it as like a super flat with water like infinitely out. But we'll be able to add land masses to it. So when 1.17 comes out and World Painter's updated, we'll be able to slap on another continent and take full advantage of that height limit. Maybe even like raise some of the mountains on the other continents too. Yeah, because we can actually selectively tell it where we want it to edit things and where we don't want it to edit things. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, I remember we were like discussing uh, something else about uh, some of the other plans that we had for like the server. Remember we were talking about um, making the players like that are currently on the server like basically VIPs. So they basically would have creative access to the main hub. They would be able to build in their little maps and make. We were going to make the main map like fully explorable, and hopefully we'll be able to like publicly like make it publicly available so that people can actually uh, join it and explore the map with us as we're building things. I'm gonna raise that up a bit. Try this tool again. I kind of like. I kind of like what it was doing here for a minute. I'm gonna see how this looks. But you know what? I'm actually gonna widen that. I want these mountains to be bigger. how this looks and there's another thing is that kind of sucks is like it takes a while for these mountains to raise 
bigger the brush, the more you know processing power it takes to raise these. That's fine though, I guess. I'm building up some really craggy mountains here. Oh, let's get up to 160. Come on now. Yeah, this is a lot of like the behind the scenes crap that we do. I figured, you know what, I'm going to do a couple streams of behind the scenes stuff as we prepare for this eventual like server migration. That We're at 160. Let's see how that looks. Oh wow, yeah, that's a little too craggy. But you know what? Yes. Coughing it. This brush. How that look? Eh, I'm not digging. Undo. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, like, building these mountains up, it's, it's a chore, and you kind of have to, exp you kind of have to play with it. This does. Oh, that's a softened one, I don't want this one. See how this one looks. looks kind of like a mesa almost. Let's see how that looks like in 3D. Oh, okay. A little better. A little bit better. Although I would rotate it. they're facing kind of the same direction. Right, let's see well, let's see how this looks. And that's like part of the fun of playing this game. Ooh, that one's kind of high. <laughs> that one got a little too high. But I mean, that actually doesn't look too bad. That actually does not look too bad. Uh, I might want to soften the ones here at the front, though, but, you know, that doesn't look too bad at all. So is this the main content that you're working on right now? What? Is this the main continent that you're working on right now? Yeah, this is the main continent. This is going to be the main island that the city is going to be. And then uh, I've already kind of made a placeholder for Skylantis and Neon's area over here. This isn't exactly what it's going to look like, obviously, but I put a placeholder here for it. And what I was thinking of doing is putting Ordeath Land, like, up here. Kind of, like, curving off and going this direction. That way, and having, like, a river between it. That way, you're already facing east. So when okay. I when I plop your stuff down, I don't have to change the direction on it or anything. And I'll give you a bigger landmass so that you can pretty much do whatever you want over here. But they're going to be causeways and roads that'll take you into the main continent, so that you know everybody can do their own thing. Which actually, like. That would be a good thing is if you could like draw up a map for me of like mm -hmm. what like like just like a rough map of how you want your continent to look. I can plop it in I can plop it into this big map here that I have superimposed on everything. And then I can start painting it out. Hey. You know, and just kind of mark where your base is your base is going to be plopped into. Alright, let me see how this looks. I softened the mountains up a little bit there. I was almost thinking about just not taking over the current survival base. 
and just building something new. Just starting all over. Were there yeah, any? Yeah, because it's not like you can bring all my villagers in. That's true. Want to do that? Uh, well, is there anything in particular you want to save from the old bait? I mean, I might take a schematic of the two towers. That's what I, kind of what I was figuring. And uh, maybe the cat temple. I definitely want to put the. I definitely want to have a desert island. Oh, that temple, that temple, hundred percent going. Yeah. And the bridge, of course, because we can we can use that bridge as the causeway, and we could still have the station connected too. It'd just be like a commuter train. And the, the bridge, I think, is still one of my favorite things that we did. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to save that bridge. Definitely want to save the bridge. Both of them. Hey, Regen. Thank you for the tip, my good man. As we sit here and chat about building mountains. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. When are, when are you going to turn onto, turn into Bob Ross on this, man? You know, your happy little trees. Oh, that's coming. There's some happy little trees here. Just that tree. Just put that tree right there. He's, he's live right there. He's happy little mountain right here. Happy mountain. I mean, you are the you are the I think Minecraft king of trees. Oh, there's people that make way better trees than I do. I just I just got some pretty practical schematics, you know, that are really handy to drop in. Oh, you know. they'll pretty much work with any map that you put them in. You know. Mm hmm. I'm pretty proud of the palm trees, though. But I actually didn't invent that palm tree model. I was actually inspired by another YouTuber, and I can't remember what his name is. Oh, really? But, yeah, but... Yeah, so... I just improved on his design, really. So I would totally credit him if I could remember what his handle was. Mm hmm But, uh, no, I just improved on his design, that's all. But uh, I designed the sequoias and the larch trees and the uh, Douglas firs from scratch, though, as well as the Joshua tree. That's all. That's all me. But uh, no, the palm trees I got the I got the idea from somebody else. I just kind of improved on it. Oh yeah, I did the uh, I did the I did the uh, the date palms too, but can't exactly remember. But that mountain will be our little secret. And if you tell anybody about that mountain, I will cut you. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we're basically encasing the desert in a mountain range. I might do some mountain passes too. Because we definitely want to have some passes. <laughs> For uh, other players to be able to like get like do their causeways to their islands. Like this map's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be fully explorable. You know, we're gonna have it's gonna be fun. The second season pressure on is gonna be I'm looking forward to it. Go ahead and throw in a little more, more mountain detail in here. That's what we like to do. And I like to change that up too. I don't like to use the same, always use the same mountain. Sometimes I like to just throw a little Easter egg in there. Change it up just a Does little bit. Does this choose what stone you use when you paint it in or not really? Yes. Yes. When we get to that phase, I will show you how we do that. But you will be able to choose what stone mix. I actually have some predetermined stone mixes already. That I will be importing in from the old map. It will definitely make things easier because we won't have to design any of that from scratch. Hey, Neon, how you doing? Oh, yeah, the map. <laughs> yeah, Neon, I need your map too so I can put it in here. So, the sure you can get that to me, the better. What kind of fabulous trees you got growing around here? Big, majestic, Douglas firs. Ah. <laughs> Damn good coffee you got here, Twin Peak. 
Damn good cherry pie, too. It's gonna be an awesome, 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 awesome map to play on. I am really looking. I'm re I'm really looking forward. To, uh, what this map's gonna have to offer. Meantime, to raise this mountain here, happy little mountain, mountain, mountains, mountains. That's all. Just a little bit of mountain, little mountain building. That's all we're doing here. Friendly mountain building. Let's see, what's the key? Okay, the peak's a little high, so we don't want to go too high on that. So, as you can see, I've already done a lot of work, and this is what the mountains will actually look like. Ah, auto save, I hate you. <laughs> there you go. Cherry pies was the. This must be where cherry pies go when they die. I'm actually thinking of doing a region sort of like that whole area of Washington, like Twin Peaks. Like, where it's supposed to take place, you know. I'm thinking of doing something like, like Western Washington area with like Mount Rainier, kind of something like that. There's, there's so many possibilities. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end what we got so far. So, this area right here, this canyon that we got going here, if you notice, I made a little gap in the middle here. And that's where we're gonna build a dam. And this whole, this whole canyon is gonna get flooded turned into a reservoir. That's down the road. We're going to make that into an actual construction project instead of just doing it in World Painter. We're actually going to make that a project in the new next season. That's going to be fun. Definitely looking forward to doing that. Hello. This one up a little bigger. Oh, you got some inspiration. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take some schematics of your builds, Neon. That way we can plop them into the new landscape. Uh, I, will, I will try to seamlessly... I will try to make an area where we can seamlessly... Integrate your big in-mountain nightclub. We don't have to worry about it getting lost, because that thing's pretty awesome. We don't want to lose that. As you can see, I kind of missed the mark a little bit on the reservoir, but that's fine. You're going to make a little... going to make a little indentation. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Canyon Falls... Give it a peninsula. Give it a little bit of a tail there. There we go. Go ahead and raise and flatten all this out. Cause this is all gonna be high desert. Kinda like like Nevada or like Southern California. Be surrounded by big mountains. So everything so it's got that whole rain shadow thing going try to use build up some foothills again mm -hmm. kind of level all that out a little bit there we go ice Go up here, build some of this mountain range up, turn my brush, hello, hey how hello. you doing, good I'm painting out the map as we speak, awesome, yeah the inspiration, sorry, go ahead, 
the inspiration of this map is based on a game I played for years called Maple Story, and I take inspiration from the first of uh, the second island you take when you're on Victoria Island, which has multiple kind of biomes, like or types of areas. Like we just got a, a harbor, a cute little village, a uh, forest town. A town in a very deep forest cut with fairies and magic. We got a deep and spooky kind of thing in the middle. We got a pirate's area and we got a big desert next to a city. Very cool. So yeah. what I'm thinking to do in here, if you're going to put a big desert in there, then what I may end up doing is just expanding this up this way. So the desert kind of naturally continues over to that desert area. So if you want to put the desert towards the top of your map, then I can continue oh, this. Oh, perfect, because uh, Perion is on the top of Victoria Island, or yeah. the northern side. And then I can continue the desert kind of naturally in this direction, and then, like, I know Oriath was talking about, like, a mesa biome. I'm thinking of putting the mesa here and making that look like... like the, uh, so like, like the, like, like Utah or something. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. An island. I'm recreating to make it look a little more um, what I picture it. This is just. Yeah, throw that in the Discord. Let me hear. Let me see what it looks like. So, I did throw it. In. I oh, just cool. It into the Discord. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I... Okay. Yeah. We can Might totally work that. I'm gonna figure it out. Maybe it's gonna be inspired inspired by Disneyland, Maple Story. I don't know. I'm gonna figure shit out. I'm just gonna paint as I go. Okay. So then y'all probably put your island further up here then. Sure. And then Skylantis uh, will be probably attached to it somewhere. So yeah, that might yeah, work. Um... Well, I might end up like, so the bottom of your island will be right here where the causeway can connect. And then you can basically, like, do what you want off that highway. <laughs> so we're basically going to have big causeways going to your island. What's a, what's a causeway? Um, so, do you know that suspension bridge that we were building? Yeah. The, the big one over here? Yeah. That's going to be the bridge between your island and Escheron. Noise. So this big ass suspension bridge is gonna be the is gonna be the causeway, and then that city over there is gonna be in the main continent. This big suspension bridge is gonna be the causeway between Neon Light Shifter Land and Escheron, and this is gonna be the gap, this is the bay right here. I wish you could think of a name too. Yeah. <laughs> but what I may end up doing is just like backing this off and making your map start here and then go up towards this thing here. So I might I might have to take some I might have to take some liberties um just to get it to conform to the land a little bit. By me, I'm, as I said, I'm just improvising as much as I can. All right, yeah. That way, that way we can fit it in here, and it'll it'll work with the flow of the map. But yeah, this is gonna be pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm not picky. I just like like I'm just happy to get my own content. It's like, ooh, continent. I'll play around with this. That's that's basically my brain. Yeah, that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be cool. I think that's gonna be really cool. And then this whole area up here is gonna be like. Like Big Sur kind of area. Already kind of built it up a little bit. I have a big mountain there at the top. Then there's going to be a road that goes around the coast here. And there's probably going to be stuff up here too. So. Then Ordeus Land right now, over here. Right now. Now I'm figuring out elevation. Excuse me, I need my. Uh, <coughs> this could be one thing I have to figure out. It's like, should I use lighter colors to determine elevation, or 
darker colors? Um, I would do lighter. You know, as long as it, um, you're going to have about, um, let's see, I'm probably going to make your island about the same size as this top part right here. I... So it's probably going to be about this big. So your, your island's going to be huge. It's going to be a good four, it's going to be a good like two to three to four thousand blocks. It's going to be huge. Huge. <laughs> huge. The biggest. The best map ever. Oh, yes. We need to have a... <laughs> definitely need a big Pokemon stadium. We definitely have to put that... We definitely have to make a desert... We're, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to have to put the desert uh, base in your desert somewhere. If I ever finish Victor's thing, I think it'd be suitable that I, get, I give you the... Uh, the nightclub to <laughs> to be in the desert because you know that you know what's well that's gonna reference right oh what's that area area, area 51 oh yeah duh alien he's an alien sea will be near the ocean so probably gonna be nearby um since i already made the sea house over in my single player game so maybe when the next update comes out of uh, 1.18 when everything gets figured out, or whatever, I can finally add in the new blocks that came in with the recent update. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, 1.17 is going to be the new blocks. I think 1.18 is going to be the height update. Pretty much. Because um, I think basically everything's in the game now. You know, as far as creative stuff. Mm-hmm. You just not might not be able to access everything without going into creative. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking forward to the new blocks. I'm gonna have so much fun with those new blocks. It's gonna be huge. The thing is, I'm also excited about is how there are some blocks that that I I there's no no there's one redstone thing I really love. It's basically it'll detect your movement, so it'll make things a little bit easier for me when it comes to building up. Uh, like automatic like doors. UFO, you step, yeah, automatic doors. You can just step near and there's. A, they made a spaceship for the DJ platform, and unfortunately, what I had to do is have a button to press up. What I would like to do is have something a little more subtle. You just step in and boom, you go up. Yeah, we can um, totally do something like that. Well, you can do that with command blocks. You can do that with command blocks. Yeah, I can show you how to do that if you want. Yes, please, because I have no access to command blocks. So what we were discussing earlier is this is pretty much going to be an adventure map, which is going to act as the hub. And since you're one of the original members of the original map, you're going to be in, you're going to have permanent creative mode along with uh, Sky and everybody else who is on the original map. Um, so you'll be able to do whatever you want on your islands. Um, I can make quests. Yes, you can. You can, yes. make, you can make quests for players that uh, join the server in adventure mode, and they'll get stuff in the survival map if they complete them. Honestly, that would be kind of- that's actually really cool, and I'm, act I'm actually really excited, so I'm gonna put a lot of work into this map. You know, it's basically put some, you know, good big brain thoughts in here. Yeah. Kind of big brain this. Like, the all the quests on my part of are gonna be, like, GTA style. They're all gonna be, like... You have to go kill this gangster or something, or you have to go steal from the bank or something, or... Meanwhile, my influences could be freaking Maple Story and maybe Pokemon. What's wrong with that? It's like having a whole bunch of different games in one. Essentially, yeah. Basically, in Maple Story, you, you fight monsters, do delivery quests and stuff, and, and you just... Depending on what class you choose, or uh, whatever, you uh, discover the story of your journey, and just, you just yada yada. Same with Pokemon, except you have magical animals to fight with. Where is this Where is this mountain? He says mountains. The only, reason, the only reason I'm adding a Pokemon Stadium is because um, I'm actually, I'm still building up a team where I can battle people who join my stream, just 
because why the heck not? It's, it's fun. I already have one member of the team ready, and that's Ace. And or if you just see a random stack of blocks, that's used as measurement purposes. I did not realize Gigantamax toxicity are bigger than I expected. I think, okay, 26 blocks, that doesn't seem too much. And then you stack them together, it's like, oh my god, Ace is huge. Mm. So that's going to take more than a few mountains, so... Well, that I'm going to have to build on my own thing. It's like, here, plop this in. It's huge. Gigantamax... Oh, Got some really I, tall mountains I here. Think maybe almost eighty. If standing up, that standing up, that would be eighty feet tall. That's a whole that, that's a skyscraper right there. How do you fix that, Pokemon? How the fuck do you put that in a fucking state in a one stadium? Just how? Build up some foothills here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Gonna have some snow capped mountains here too. This is gonna be like a snow capped mountain range right here. But I gotta kinda make it a little more subtle. For my highest one. Them. Bring the sides of these. Get out. Nice. See what we got. There we go. That's a little more subtle. That looks more like... That looks more like, you know, natural. What you would... Go ahead and do that down here. Wider. Up a bit. These are going to be like the big mountain. So, your pinnacle. Okay, pinnacle. What? What is this? Let's see what this looks like. In here. Maybe this could be an also a good opportunity for when it does, it's made. I can actually start practicing um, map making and hexagonal graph, like they do for Dungeons and Dragons and. You know, just give myself some practice, just in case, you know, one day I want to do map commissions or whatever. I draw oh, yeah. Them. I don't know. If that can... I think my starter's going to be in fire from this server, just like, you know what, I'm going to dick around with this. Let's play around with this. Yeah, I mean, and you get to see it in action. So it's a win-win. So I'm also going to build a commuter train or island. People can take the, the compu commuter train over. The computer train? Computer train, yes. Do not have a speech. <laughs> Is that like the mega tank? Time for war. <laughs> Did you see the meme that, um,. Someone took um, Warhammer 40k and put Hello Kitty in it. That in the grim dark future of Hello Kitty, there is only war. War. Only death oh. and suck. Pain and pain and <laughs> suffering are. <laughs> pain and door. Pain and death are the only constant forces in this horrible reality. <laughs> So what we're doing now is we're just basically doing the basic landforms first. And once all those are done, then we can start painting in, like, the kind of actual terrain that's going to be there. Right now, we're just kind of using the gravel as the base, building up the building up the landscape and getting the mountains to look like we want. I'm not good at making maps, so I don't know how doesn't have to be perfect, because I can I can flush it out. 
I just need a general idea of where you want everything. Like, where you want the mountain ranges, where you want the, like, plains, the coasts, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm just using the splatter tool and just see where land, and then I can refine it. There you go. Building up this range here. All right, this one. Let's see what this one looks. Oh, this mountain range. But that looks like. That might look cool. That does kind of look cool. I kind of like that. I think we'll roll with that. Do a couple of those. I don't want them all facing the same direction. Like the the, the crust is like it's like a real mountain range. Mm hmm. And, you know, I want to build these foothills up, so. This one seems to be really good for foothills. What I'm making is starting to look like something I would make when I was five. <laughs> I used to paint maps all the time when I was... Kid. I used to do it all the time. <laughs> build up. Build up the crust here. Bridges. This way a little bit. Might make it like I do here maybe. Mm -hmm. I want I want the range to be heat, but I don't want it to be. I want it to be enough of a barrier to where naturally it like it would be legit range shadow. Okay. I don't want to make it like some impassable thing. raise this up. Put a mountain. I'm going to put some mountains here. Fill that up. one here. This one I'll make a little bit. I'll make this one smaller. Not as high. Kind of connect them. There we go. Here as well. 
see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks good. On today's episode of Neon Has No Idea What They're Doing, they put multiple kind of biomes in one island. You can do that. Yeah, you can do There's that no if you want to. It. Yeah, it's your island. You can do whatever you want no, with it. I... Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's like too many biomes because so far I got a deep, got a deep ass forest, mountain ranges, a mesa, an arid desert. Uh, this is probably the Sierra. Regular fields and a jungle. Actually, looking at it, it looks like a Pokeball. It's, it looks like it's covered in paint. Raise this up. That looks nice. I like that. It looks... Oh, looks like we got some rough. Got a little rough patch there. We gotta fix up. Yep, got some terrain that looks like it needs some patching up here. Go over here. Out where that is. Really see where it is. So I, gotta, I gotta smooth that out. Let's see mm -hmm. here. Looks like it's right here against this river. At. Were you wanting that one U of river not to be connected to the other one? No. Yeah, I want that to be like a oxbow. But that's all gonna get flooded anyway. Okay, it looks like I fixed that one. I gotta do all these over here. Looks like it's like all around. Little smoothing. Like I fixed that for them. Or I'm gonna do a little bit more here, here. There, a little here. See how that looks. Meanwhile, an impressionist world painting with Dom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still gotta fix it. I'm sorry, this but I'm here. now picturing. I'm now picturing it with uh, the SpongeBob Frenchman voice. Twelve hours later. Looks pretty good. Meanwhile. Yeah, it does. Several months later. Out a little bit. I don't want that to... But it just doesn't look... Real good. And the autosave pops up again. <clears throat> so your main island is you're still gonna do like all desert basically? Basically, yeah. The huge desert. And I'm giving the photo known te gnome temple its own little island off the coast. Okay. That's gonna be cool. And that one's gonna kinda have like a Greek style. Show you where that. What biome were you thinking of doing for that one? Uh, same one that it's in already. It's gonna be its own little thing. Okay. Great. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do some foothills. Oh, 
Long brush. This foothill tastic. Little, little foothill task. Right this. That going. Like there's a flow to it. Pepper this around a little. I like putting like subtle variations in the rain around. Makes it interesting. all here is going to be the kind of uh, like Pacific Northwest or looking at mm -hmm. good looking good Build these mountains up here. These ones are going to be tall as well. A little few. So have they updated World Painter for 1.17 yet, or no? I don't think they have. Last update came out, like, 1 to 6. Go. So, don't think okay. they've updated it yet. But once we put this into a world, the world will automatically update. Yeah, no, the, the part I was curious about, though, was basically... Um, if you could get the uh, the newer snow. Oh yeah, that would you be know cool. where you have the powder snow that you can sink into. Mm, that would be cool. Definitely would come in handy when we build that big fuck off Strido volcano. Make it a challenge to uh, to scale it because mm -hmm. it's, it's such a huge mountain. Oh yes, a glor a challenge of glory, honor, and big reward. Yes. Scale oh, this wait, mountain. Wait, wait, I have... Wait, idea, idea, idea. Like, you have to find bodies. Oh, like, you have to... Scale like... the mountain. Go ahead. Sorry. Scale the mountain, and the... you'll be recognized by every every region. Basically. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Oh, you're good. So, like... Like, you have to retrieve something from one of the bodies on the mountain. One of the people that tried to scale it and died. Actually, why not have why not have a challenge in each island? Yeah, that would be cool. I think you know, like think about it. That's actually a really cool idea. Like, and maybe a way to be able to prove that you complete the challenge. Like my island, I'm planning on having the main kingdom on top of the mountain in the center, and under the kingdom are treacherous caverns and ravines. Yeah, we could do that. Find some of those ravine extremes. And slay a being that you'll never you'll never think to you If somehow I met you know, I think kinda ironic, like the location of the island where it's like that. The ironic part is maybe the end dragon is under the ravine or something. I don't know. Kind of ironic. They, like have a wither there. Okay, makes 
more sense. Have it spawn a wither that you have to fight. Yeah, you have to wither. You're golden. We could do that, although you definitely would want to have um, grief protection off or on. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to have like mob griefing off. Good idea. No, he's gonna try to like get out. Wreak havoc on the rest of the map. Maybe I can make an arena covered in obsidian. Could do that or bedrock. I think they can. I think they can go through obsidian. That's. Right, let's see how this range looks. Nice. Looking very good. How it let's see how it compares to the rest of the map. These are the taller of the mount, tallest of the map. By the way, Dom uh a little surprise to me, your photo known temple is on desert. <laughs> yeah, it is. I knew that. I lower this mountain stone. There you go. That's a little, little more believable. This one right here, these probably need to be are those they're directly across from these will be lowered a little bit all right how that look That's a little better. Those are looking pretty good. And autosave pops up again. So annoying. You know, the other thing that's gonna be tedious is importing all your map art. Not really. Um, I can just copy the map art folder. Copy the data folder over and it should automatically update the numbers. <clears throat> I'm gonna run some tests on it. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah, I should just be able to pop copy over all of the map, though, all the DAT files. Because they're all DAT files, they're not MBTs. You'd be able to just copy all the DAT files over. Come on now. Finish saving. I can get back to building. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and build up. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna build up. I think these mountains are pretty much good. I'm just gonna make some foothills here. Hills here. Expand this out a little bit. Go. Nope. Right. My map's ready. Nice. Alright, Dom, sending you the thing. Awesome.
Not gonna, I'm not going to import it into the image that's going to be... I just slap together a bunch of colors to see if it works and just try to refine them as best I can. That should... Raise this up a bit. Good. Make this a high mountain. Mm hmm. Both of these are going to be peak. So, is the color the biome? No. Or the material? Oh, it's kind of the material. So what's the like kind of reddish brown line that you have going? That's where the mountains are going. No, I'm talking above the mountains. Oh, that? That's a road. Where I'm planning on building a freeway. Foothills brush here. Up some foothill. Very nice. So, where that hits the water, are you planning on doing a bridge across again? Um, it's gonna go around, but I might, because I want to build stuff up to the north. Mm hmm but I'm gonna expand this, because this needs to actually get built out further. I'm gonna go ahead and build that land off, and up here. My leveler tool. Bring this land map. Hold this out this way. It doesn't, doesn't have to be exact working with what the this actually let me see this
a little texture. But That looks kind of cool. Yeah, it kind of does. Different brushes. What's this program called again? World Painter. Yeah, when I when I hit export, it's gonna export it to a Minecraft world. Basically, everything I'm painting is gonna get generated into a Minecraft map. Nice. That's yeah, really cool. Very I handy. Have no <laughs> I have no idea what to do right now since I already finished drawing that drawing out the map. So I guess I'm gonna either dick around on Minecraft or just chill out. Right, let's chill out. I mean, we're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna quit here in about 15 minutes. I'm just, I just kind of wanted to do a behind the scenes. You're welcome to stick around and discord and chat about what we're doing here. Let me check out your map. Did you already put it in Discord? Yeah, I sent to you. All right, let me take a look. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the one you did. I still don't understand how messy does it look. it over. I thought I sent it already. I might as well just send it on to... Put it in the general? I didn't send it to general, I sent it to T over DM, but okay. Well, I got the, uh, I got the Victoria Island map. I didn't get the one that you just did. Okay, let me send it again. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could totally do that. That'll work. Yeah, we could totally do something like that. Nice. That actually kind of makes sense. Is this like desert up here? Yeah, desert, and then there's a mess out right next to it. We can actually com I could actually continue that on. Yeah, that works. These are like plains and forests and then... Yeah, on the top is a mountain range with some green on it, so... And usually that's where the, the center of the... Basically the capital will be. In the mountain range? In the mount yeah, in the mountain range in the center. Alright. We can definitely build that out uh, on the next Saturdays. For uh, surrounding the mountain range, uh, it can all be based on the biome. It's nearby, so okay. I don't know. I, I just based it on the Victoria Island, where Sleepy Wood is at, where it's in a deep, dense forest. If you and you go deeper into it, and you'll end up in a cavern called Ant Tunnel. There you go deeper into the caverns where you'll end up running into zombie mushrooms and then you'll end up into finding monsters like drakes or what was that other one? That looks like a giant wildcat and then junior or dark it's like a minotaur without the without the oh wait. No, it's a minotaur mixed with fat big ass wings, horns, teeth. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> this that's not quite what I wanted, but buy some plush. It's like a dick. What I wanted it to do. How are you doing this? <laughs> it's like a dick. <laughs> now I'm thinking of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Building up this land map. I think these days, whenever I refer to something really stupid to my friends, I was like, how stupid we're talking? Beavis and Butthead stupid? <clears throat> that show was a classic. I know. I still. That's what I mean by I'm talking about the characters in general. 
Oh, hey. One, one scene that got to me was basically that stuck in my head is when Babe was pretending to be Cornholio. <laughs> Always a classic. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's also kind of funny that that was the, you know, that was what killed Winger. Really? I think so. Because they made Stewart have the Winger shirt. Really? Yeah, I was reading something about that somewhere. The uh, the singer from Winger basically thought that uh, MTV was responsible for their rise to fame because of playing you know like their videos before Beavis and Butthead, mm-hmm. and that uh, MTV was also responsible for murdering their career. Yikes! Add a little bait. Although I would probably also argue that um, you know, like the rise of Nirvana and alternative rock and grunge killed a lot of those really glam metal bands anyway. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, all right. So I think that's a pretty good looking hand mask there. <clears throat> Got a pretty good shape there. I might actually make big mountain like bright. Have like the wooded areas surrounding it. I might move this down. do that let me see here I want to get my mountain tool volcano tool mm-hmm. the that's pinnacle here's my volcano okay I guess you want this with this stuff. Oh, that's a leveling tool. I hope if I do the... <laughs> if I actually do the tool, the correct tool. it take a minute. Gotta raise this all the way to 255. What I might do is might raise it all the way like 200 something and then use other one of these Aldera. Mm hmm. This is going to be a huge something. Huge ass mountain. Ass mountain. <clears throat> that takes a minute for it to build up. Gotta let it sit there and build up. glamorous part.
decent more. You can already see the ridges starting to form. Ooh. By the way, uh, Dom, so you know how you usually come in for New Monday, right? Yeah. This time, you, something really, something interesting happened. So, we, it was only me, John, and uh, da Damon. I hope I pronounced that right. I think it's Damon. And yeah. And I don't know who came in. It was a, I know it was a woman, and she had her kid on, like, running, running around and stuff. And I was messing around with face rig. And then she spotted my toked out. The kid spotted the toked out dragon I had. Uh. And so me, me and the others were, were messing around, entertaining the little one. It was really cute. Yeah. Had, I tossed in everything I had: Pikachu, Squidward, some cats, some random animals. Cute. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was actually really adorable. It was just straight up adorable. See how this mountain looks. Pretty big. See what it'll look like if I... <laughs> oh, it maxed out. Not what I wanted. Okay, yeah, we want to build that up. Or almost. Almost to the top. And there we go. How that looks. Eh. Not really digging that. I'm not really digging on that one, that shape. See how this one looks. It would be a smaller version. Mm -hmm. Maybe the route we want to go. This one may be the one we want to go. It looks like the ridges are a lot more clearly defined. This one looks way, way more like. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one looks way more clearly defined. Although, I might. Won't let me cancel the autosave. I hate it when it brings up the autosave like that. Yeah, right, think about it. Do you have an option to change how often it does autosave? Yeah, I can change it. It just like loves to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of building up something. But of course it does. Always. Always. Not sure how I did the mountain in Escheron World. I think maybe I built it up. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna do this. This. Build this up. I'm gonna try this build up thing one more time before we end. Okay. How this looks.
This one's good. I got mouth. I think I'm gonna expand out sides a little bit. Mm hmm. Bring out to the ridges that come off of it. a little more clearly defined. All right, this. I like using like multiple different types that usually uh, really define a shape. Sure. Adjurate what's already there. Now that looks. more way more like a mountain it's, it's gonna stand out against all the other mountains they're like steeper and smaller but this and build that up huge huge I hate the fact that that means he's not around place of seeing is now stuck in my head. But what is? Huge. Huge. <laughs> the hugest. The worst part is because I was watching, you know, it, it well, Gary's Mod videos back in 2016 with certain YouTubers, and they used huge all over the place, just making fun of Trump in every way possible. I think one time they used some- I don't know what it's called, but it's a bot that chases you around the map to try to kill you. And you can customize it to anything. Someone made a Sainic one, there's one of a poorly drawn Shrek, and there's one of Trump and Trump and Trump. <laughs> sounds terrifying. It is terrifying. <laughs> it's a game called Worm for Your Life. <laughs> I'm actually using this to kind of expand I... it out. My birthday mm. party's gonna be on Gmod again after five years. I'm gonna make sure mm. I implement that game as an option. When it, the winner is the one who survives. Sure. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what's gonna happen when I turn 26. I don't know what's gonna happen. That look. Man, kind of see the ridges growing now. You may not color looks. Oh yeah, that is. I don't want it to quite be that. Up. We've reached the height limit. Go, and, and I'm just gonna... Over.
I get some like rough shapes in. Mm hmm. Now, it's supposed to be like a mountain. So. Buff. Or to do that, I'm gonna. That. That. That looks a little rough. That was tough. And it, the top part here. Then want to make the crater pop. It's supposed to be a strato volcano. Find me find me a brush that works for that. I'm gonna use this one. I Not quite the way I wanted it. It might be a little better. That's supposed mm. to be so craggy. It's supposed to be. That's a little more. Volcano. Uh, and there's the auto save again. Ugh. <laughs> Always with the auto save. Always. Ugh. Oh no. So I think what I'm gonna do after I get this saved is I think we're gonna end it here. And I'm gonna grab that uh grab that map. I think I'm gonna grab that map and put it into the new world painter map. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Next Thursday, we're going to be back to building on the server. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to build. Maybe we'll build some some uh, buildings or something. You know, maybe we'll work on this bridge a little bit more. Or uh, chaos. Yeah. Maybe some chaos. Maybe some like, burning stuff. or maybe, maybe, we should, maybe we should do that big duel that we were talking about doing at the desert stadium. We haven't done that yet. So uh, yeah, we might what, we might do that. Duel? Yeah, have a big duel. That sounds fun. Yeah, that might be cool. Do that. We haven't done that yet. Talking about doing it, but we haven't done it yet. So. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'm mm -hmm. down. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm throw up the stream card. And uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, definitely tune in next Thursday. We do this on Thursdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Sometimes we're late, so if we don't immediately start at 7, you know, just tune in around that time. We should be on. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'll catch you guys later. See you next week.